Hello and welcome to this video is kindly sponsored by BetterHelp. Let's get into why you're here. I got a mini, mini art supply haul from CasArts. If you know CasArts, it's, it's basically an art shop in the UK. I don't know if you have that in America. Maybe you do, but it's kind of just like a chain and uh, yeah, usually has some nice stuff. Quite expensive, so let's just go through everything that I bought. First of all, I got this little packet of goodness. You can see I've already opened it because I already know what's in here. And I had to take out this pencil that Chris bought. This is mechanical pencil. And I didn't realize this until I got home that it cost 10 pounds. What? What in what universe? Okay. And I'll never stop going on about it either. Okay, so first up, first up, we have my favorite Polychromos pencils. I just had to, you know, top up the collection with a few more colors. This is my current collection. I think I have a few more in my other pencil case and stuff. I really like using these over the tops of alcohol markers. So in they go, in the collection. I think this is the same color. Uh, shut up. It is literally the same color, but it looks different. Probably because this one's dirty, but it doesn't matter. It's nice to have repeats. I was picking the colors thinking, I hope I haven't already got some of these, but I tend to pick the same colors over and over again. This one is cobalt green and this is cobalt turquoise, so it's quite different. I got a new paintbrush because we know all my paintbrushes are destroyed, but this one is like a small rectangular nib, which will be really nice to just kind of paint with, I hope. <laughs> when I get the chance. Um, and also this Posca. This is a brush Posca and I had one of these before and I really liked it, but it ran out. And um, yeah, so I got another one, simple as that. Then, what did I get? I have been thoroughly influenced by one Megan Wang. And uh, yeah, she influenced me. She had this video that was called uh, gifts that you get for artists. And I was like, you know what? Okay, let's do this, Megan, let's do this. I got these Cranon, I don't even know, I'm not even going to attempt to say that name. Pastel, please. We're trying to create here. And I actually, I don't like oil pastels, but there's something about these that she makes them look so fun and easy to use. I've been, I've been influenced. Um, so I got them to try them out. This video is in paid partnership with BetterHelp. Is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? If you have any issues like depression or anxiety, or if you're just a person that lives in this difficult world and trying to navigate through it, then therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a different way. And that's why I'm excited to tell you about BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy accessible. And this is an important mission because finding a therapist can be hard. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easy because it's online, it's remote, and just by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a credentialized therapist in as little as a few days. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in my description. It's betterhelp.com forward slash average artist. Clicking that link helps support this channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of better help so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you and because finding a therapist is sometimes difficult and it doesn't always fit quite common to find that you might want to change your therapist so you can easily switch to a different therapist at no additional cost so if you're struggling consider online therapy with better help click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash average artist thank you again to better help for supporting this channel this was the smallest set and they're quite expensive, 25 pounds. Luckily this video is sponsored, so there we go. But I really wanted to try them. Uh, again, I guess, I, I don't think I ever really gave oil pastels a shot, but apparently these are like the bee's knees. So it's a little bit, a little bit different than trying a cheap art supply. Sometimes we try cheap art supplies and then they're not really like it for us. I also noticed that not necessarily Megan, but a few people have been doing some stuff on like wood boards and stuff and I just thought I'd get like this canvas board to try something out because I was thinking I did this drawing I showed you guys in the last video of this cat and uh books and cats kind of girly is like the, the slogan and I was thinking I want to try and draw that on this wooden board or maybe like pesto or something but maybe with the oil pastels but anyway let's try them out first before I get ahead of myself because I might not even like these I'm nearly running out of this sketchbook. I started it in August of 2022. So it's been quite a while, but then again, I always think I take longer to finish a sketchbook when I've done when I'm doing a comic because 
obviously I'm doing a lot more arty stuff outside of the comic, outside of the comic, outside of the sketchbook. But okay, let's try these out. Come on, Megan, don't let me down now. You said these were good, so let's try them. <laughs> Imagine if she watches, she's like, I, I don't like you. <laughs> she's like, who are you? They go down real smooth. I guess this paper as well is super, super smooth paper, the Midori paper. Do you guys ever buy art supplies and you're like, now I've got this art supply, these ideas are just going to start overwhelming me and it's going to be really easy to just create with them. And then you start doing stuff with them and you're like, hmm. It's gonna actually require effort on my side, okay. But yeah, okay, well, yeah, the oil pastels, you know, I kind of knew what I was getting into. So let's see if we can create something with these. They are exciting, it is exciting to try different things. I feel like you get your childlike wonder back when you branch out and try to do different things with different art supplies and you just have fun with it, which is very difficult to do. I'm aware it's a difficult thing to do, um, but we're gonna do it. So I'm really dumb and I went back to watch that video from Megan to see uh, if she had any tips and then like maybe watch some more of her videos just to triple check that I'm doing it correctly and I bought the wrong pastels, didn't I? I bought oil and hers are water soluble which make more sense and I remember at the time being like oh those look nice and then when I was in the shop and I saw these I was like oh those are the ones that Megan was talking about I wanted to buy those, but on Amazon it was going to take too long. So I bought these, and now I regret my life. Because I hate oil pastels. I was like, no, oh, but other people say they're fun. Look what I've done, guys. Look what I've done. Oh, well. We're still going to have fun with them. We're still going to test them out and try. And uh, probably the thumbnail and the title of this video has changed because it's probably going to be my nightmare out of supply. I watched... A couple of tutorials I know right I will link down below the tutorial I watched and what I think I want to do is I definitely want to do something on this canvas and I think I still want to stick with my idea of doing the cat with the books and things but maybe just don't write that but yeah I think I'll paint a picture of one of my cats 2,000 pictures of cats okay that's normal okay I like this one because she's wearing her bib and I think we can incorporate some of the flowers and stuff in the background really like the idea of it being a bit impressionistic as well because it would be fun with the art supply to just kind of smoosh the paint around a bit and just have like this shape of a cat which could be quite funny I don't know if I'm explaining myself well but hopefully you'll see what I mean and I think the good thing about oil is that you can go over and over again so I think this is looking quite cute already even though it's just a little doodle but I think maybe if I use my pencils as well we could we could do some stuff with these pencils. Um, so this is with a turpentine. And it just smooths it out. Maybe I could get into this accidental pickup of this art supply. I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying it so far. Turpentine we had because Chris does like war hammers and stuff. So I guess he like, that's how he cleans his brushes. And I had linseed oil because of when I made ink that one time. In case you guys saw that uh, video ever. Probably need to stick something over the top of this now so it can shut my sketchbook. Not a great idea to use oils in a sketchbook because they take so long to dry. Yeah, the lid's bad cool because it's like metal. Yeah, but am I just going to breathe this in if it's open like that? Breathe what in? There's nothing in there. The t when I pour it in, Chris? It's just white spirit. Chill out. So Maybe fatal if sw swallowed, enters airway, may cause drowsiness or dizziness. If mm. medical advice is needed, the product container, keep out of way, children, yeah. hot services, sparks, open flames, any. What do you mean, Chris? Just if I breathe out. that in, it's going to be awful before. for me. So, yeah, Chris has this thing that connects to your board, I guess, uh, that he used as a teenager. He used a lot of oils as a teenager. I didn't. So, I'm a bit scared to use them. Just gonna shut that because I feel like you shouldn't breathe that in. But I'm also into the idea of using these. Um, this was just a little practice. So let's see if we can do a nice image of pesto with these oil. I never thought I'd say this. Oil pastels. So I actually remember these sketches that I did of the cats a while ago, and I really like this one of Mochi. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment. I want to do like a really really light um, layer. I think I'm gonna take this plastic that the canvas came in just make a little area to put my oil I know this is probably not the way to use them 
put my oil pastel down, maybe we can sketch with it if I really, really thin it out. So much is basically, maybe I should do it this way. Yeah, we want to make it bigger. So let's just sketch out basic shapes of mochi. And then what I want to do is like do the underpainting of this color. So then it's looking like, I mean, then it will just like blend in hopefully. And you probably can't see it that well. I think what I'm going to do is just like this wash. Something that's different as well to this sketchbook is that it's very toothy. I feel like her back is much more curved than this. I'm just working really, really lightly um, where I can because I remember when I first tried to use oil colors, I just went in like I would kind of with gouache where I just bulldoze my way through it. And I think, I think oils, you need a much lighter hand um, and slower. I think you can't just go for it. And that's kind of what I always do. So I'm gonna have to be careful. Let's see. Also, I remember I said I wanted to do that color scheme of purple and stuff, but I think, I think I've gotten lost in the process where I just wanna kind of just paint mochi. So I just do some like color here. I don't know if it's looking like way too light for you guys, but it's kind of looking like watercolors at the moment, which I think is not really the point. Um, but what we're gonna do? I think if I keep building on top, it will work out. The uh, fear control me, but maybe the fear should have controlled me a bit. I'm not sure. We'll find out with some of these colours, so I'm just going to go in with my pencils like a practice and I think that might help a little bit. This red is way too red. Yeah, I just need more orange, maybe if I can just mix some more of that orange colour. I really do like the white in her eye as well. That was way too much white, oops. <laughs> I don't know what this huge mess is. Um, it hasn't really worked out. I feel like I'm working away at this and the more and more that I do to it, the worse it looks. Uh, I'm not really sure that this is for me, but it was fun. Uh, I don't know whether to keep going or to be like, yeah, this is this is it because I feel like the more I'm doing to this Definitely like the worse it's getting <laughs> and the more that I do the more Kind of weird what she is looking and I don't think I really understand um, oil enough To make anything good, but an attempt was made, you know And it's always good to try new things I just, there was like one point where I thought, oh, this is looking kind of cute. And now I'm like, it just looks like a mess to me. And I don't know if it's an, an intriguing mess or not. It's kind of meh. I might work on this another time, but I think this is my attempt at oil pastels on a board. I do love the textures that you can get, and I like her little face. I think it's quite sweet, and I might work on it a bit more, but I don't know if I'm just making it worse and worse. I'll probably see it whilst I edit this that I wasn't, but it feels like I am. So this is kind of what she looks like, and I think it's quite cute, so let me know in the comments what you think, and I hope to see you next time. Please like and subscribe and all that, and uh, yeah, bye.